Hi ragazzi, ciao guys, welcome back to another video. It's great to see you here. Directly from a grey Amsterdam. Today we're gonna go <laughs> discuss some outfit ideas for spring. The idea for this video came to me because I was thinking about the upcoming Easter. You know, during spring you always have parties, events, festival season is here. And so I just gathered some inspiration, some ideas, and I'm gonna save your life. Now, if you're about to leave the house, don't. I'm gonna give you some advice and we're gonna get uh, some cool outfits out and some inspiration. So yeah, we can have a coffee together and discuss about it. Don't forget to follow me on Vinted at Sharpari. We got good stuff. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at ZamoZamo. And uh, yeah, now that the intro is out of the way, you can finally have a coffee in a new, nice hand makeup. And uh, let's get into it. So the first outfit I thought about is this one, we can call it the casual fit. This one is a very flexible, simple outfit that's great for anything casual you're doing. So going out on a coffee date, go out on a grocery run, meet somebody, just very chill outfit. You can wear it in the house, you can wear it outside, you can go to have lunch or anything informal. I started my outfit from the bottom up. So I started with this pair of Onizuka Tiger Mexico 66. I picked up this pair. This is a limited edition discontinued brown colorway. It kind of reminds me of uh, Amelia on Dory or an older aesthetic. I really like these shoes. I think they're a really, really solid pair. And it's an alternative to, let's say, the wave of Samba or Specials that, you know, were so popular and everyone had on. Then I, building up the outfit, I went with a pair of comfy color double knees uh, denim. This is a particular wider fit in this case because it's a special piece that's made in collaboration uh, between Carhartt and Invincible, but you can go with any kind of just baggy, relaxed, comfortable denim. That's really important. I like how this uh, shoe sits on the pants. Then for my top, I went super simple, white Uniqlo U t-shirt, simple, basic, again, very light, good for spring and gives, uh, give, gives to the outfit some balance. And then the second thing is this garment workshop crew neck knitted piece, very light, still intentionally boxy. I think it is a great outfit for anything you're doing. It shows that you know your proportions, you know your color, but it's not too extreme. Shoes are comfortable and it's really, again, an easy outfit that you can throw on all the time. If it's raining outside, you can also throw a light coat jacket on. This is from Sabucaro and the Japanese brand CCP. Again, this is a nice way to elevate your outfit and just be sure that's waterproof if you're biking, if you're walking anywhere. Yeah. Then, another after, an, after another sip of coffee, we can discuss the second outfit. So the second outfit is what we're gonna call the Gorpcore fit. It's for when either you like it, that's your style, or you just have to leave the town, maybe you have to go to a picnic, you have to go to like a second day of Easter kind of, you know, gathering in the countryside, maybe your partner's family stays in the countryside, maybe you're going in a park, whatever. It's the time for you to pull out with your technical stuff. So again, I built this fit bottom up, that's how you should always do it. I started with a pair of uh, Salomon XT6. This is the Gore-Tex collaboration that released last year. Good, you have a nice grip, they're waterproof if it's raining, you know how it is, Easter is always unpredictable. Then I added this pair of CP Company Batik cargo pants. Those are really interesting because it's a waxed cotton. It comes directly from Scotland and then it's garment dye. That means that the color dye touch itself only to specific parts of the pants. So these are washing. When I first bought them, they were way more brown. Now they're turning into a lighter color. I love personalizing my items. They sit really well on the pant. They're not too long. They have this kind of gorp core-ish while still having personality. Then I would keep it simple with the top. I would personally add a Uniqlo U a black long sleeve. It's very easy. I love the neckline, has a great fit, absolutely. You can then build it up adding a performance jacket, like water resistance, maybe has a hood and looks cool. In this case, I went for one of my personal favorite. This is a CP company by Tic 500 Miglia. That means that is uh, 1000 Miglia is the long version. 500 is like the short biker version. This is cropped and also has flaps that you can open. So I really like that contrast. And I think it's really nice when you're going for like a total black everything and you just have the pants that pop with a tad of color. And you can, of course, go full on Gurpcore adding also this bag, which is really, let's say, this is from CP company. It's a nylon B transporter bag, I would call it, and uh, has this very nice system that they got inspired from acronym, and uh, that's the fit. 
it's good to go if you want to go really serious you know with your gorp core expedition is also really good if you just want to stay in the city and look cool yeah the third outfit is the one that we would call let's say semi-formal good boy cleanup kind of semi-formal event let's say for example you're meeting the parents of your partner you're meeting your grandparents you have some kind of work related event but the idea for this outfit was just to go as simple as possible but still have some edge in this case i centered the whole outfit around the boots as you guys know from this video that I'm gonna leave you here, I finally got a pair of our legacy camion boots a couple of months ago. Love them, they have so much personality, so I decided to go for a boot that has a strong presence and then building it up with like a Uniqlo U salvage denim. These are from last year, it's a great pair. I actually own two of the same because I'm trying to see how one is uh, getting with washing and how the other one is instead gonna say. I love the fit on them. They're really adapting to my body. And so I think they really work well, very simple. And then I kept it Uniqlo, so Uniqlo white shirt, uh, and uh, which is the same. I use also my previous outfit. And then I went for this Uniqlo knit cardigan from Uniqlo U fall winter 2023. As you guys can see, this is a very simple outfit, like kind of an adult, uh, I'm behaving vibe, <laughs> which is great. You know, again, if you maybe have a new work interview, just wanna go somewhere. You don't want to worry about getting too crazy with pieces, with accessories, etc. Just keep it simple. Maybe add a nice watch, maybe add a nice ring, and you're good to go. And you can recycle it endlessly. Just wash your t-shirts, please, <laughs> in your underwear. Perfect. So this fourth outfit is the party during the day, date during the day, fun during the day outfit. And that's because, of course, it's meant for you to show your personality, have a little bit of edge. Let's say, for example, you're going to a baby shower. Let's say you're going to a house warming. Let's say you're going for a drink, for a beer, etc. What am I gonna wear so that I can look cool while still being comfortable and stylish? That's what you're gonna wear. I started my outfit with a pair of New Balance 993s. These are really nice, chunky, in this gray sweat. Incredibly comfortable. Go to shoes is very easy. You don't have to think about them. You can walk all around if you have to stand, for example. So that's fantastic. I then build it up with a pair of CP Company cargos. In this case, they're like nice and baggy and black. There is also another version of this fit that you can do just with denim. Just keep it simple as much with the top. Then I went with a white shirt, but you can also go with a black one, depending again what works best with your skin. And then I finished it up with this CP Company over shirt. This is really nice because this is a prototype that comes from their lab. And as you can see, one of the panel has like a different coloring to it. And I love this detail and you know, it's really, really a unique piece. But overall, the idea would be like, look at uh, some over shirts or like shirts that are like kind of light jackets. You can go with corduroy, you can go with like a light jacket, but just keep it easy, keep it simple. We get it, you got style. Perfect day, perfect outfit to, you know, just getting drunk on some margaritas, yeah. Then we got the fifth and last outfit. So this is an outfit for your night day, night party, maybe clubbing afterwards. You know, we have to look cool while being in the dark. And so that's why we started with a pair of Cortex XT4s. These are my favorite pair of Salomons. As you guys can see, have a bit of a chunkier sole while still keeping cleaner lines. They have this kind of carbon fiber print to them. Love them. It's not the first pair I got, but I really fuck with them and I would uh, really like to buy them again, absolutely. I will start with something like that, which is sleek. It's not really visible, but can be comfortable. It's maybe if you're going partying, can be nice. Then I would go up with a pair of darker denims. You can go, for example, with this pair of Uniqlo Selvedge denims that's not washed. It's really sleek, really works well. You can also go with a pair of black cargos. This absolutely work. And then I would go for a black top. If it's a bit more of an informal event, you can put on a very clean black t-shirt. You can have a logo on the back. The one I'm wearing here is my favorite logo from the Japanese-based magazine Sabukaru. Amazing print on the back, but it's nice and clean in the front. So I really like that. Or you can go for this knitted polo. That's also really nice. You know, maybe you're in a formal establishment and you can just playing it safe. You can really go with a, with a cool fit. And then I will invest everything in the jacket. In this case, I went for this CP Company TOB jacket that has like a leather vibe. You can also go for a, a leather jacket. I'm on a lookout for it. So if you have any advice, let it down here in the comments. So these are like the five outfits, different parts of the day, different crowds that you're in. Uh, talking with. Hope this video can be of inspiration to you guys. It was for sure to me. It's a great addition to my gallery and again next time I'm gonna have any of these events I can just get an outfit, pick an outfit from my wardrobe and go with it. So I'm really happy with that. Thank you for being with me. If you have any questions or any advice let it down below. I'm 
really curious to you know what's your what's your favorite outfit and what's your go-to solution either casual as either formal either for a date night a beautiful weekend have a beautiful day happy holidays and uh, see you soon love you bye